Okay, we are in Palma de Mallorca, it's a beautiful place which is also a great sustainable place because we're having uh, the uh, United Nations Summit on Sustainable Destination and this is the perfect place to, to be in, beautiful but also sustainable. Uh, the, the main focus of the presentation is about the, the intersection of, of two things, technology and society. The biggest error many people do, many people who work on uh, technology, is to just focus on technology because you're building up a disruptive technology, because there's all this new uh, brand of new, uh, of new technology label with, with artificial intelligence and more. And that's the biggest error that people can do, only focus on technology. Because the real point is to get together technology and society. Those are the two sides of the same coin. History is full of spectacular failures of technology who are great by themselves. But then one put, put them in front of real people, real people using them, and then you get miserable failures. And it's something that people hasn't really understood well. We, we know it's already happened 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago. We, we, we should learn from previous mistakes, yet the same errors repeat. Beautiful, disruptive technologies that are ruined because, just because we don't understand that there is also the other side of the coin, the interaction with the real people who is going to use a certain technology. So why is that relevant to the travel industry and sustainability within travel? Yeah, that's, that's, a, good, that's a very good question. It's, it's all about information. It's, it's not different from a, from a search in Google. When you search in Google, you're, you're looking for a certain kind of information. When people are looking for the best place to go, uh, what, what kind of options do you have? It's all an information problem, because information is the food of our modern society. So it's, uh, it's, 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 it's the second level of food. You need information to have a happy life, to go to the best place on vacation, and maybe also to help the world to have a sustainable destination and so on. But it's an information problem. So many websites, effort and so on, focus on the branding maybe, also on the kind of uh, new, new technology that you can employ. But we have to look at the people. We, we, we measure the impact of some uh, website, of some existing solution, but there is a good will. To do, to do good for the planet. To, to, it's a big word, sustainable, let's, let's help uh, our world. But then these things don't work because people forget about the other side of the coin. So maybe you can, you can brand your new effort like, oh, we, we are institution or company X and we have this new great uh, technology in place. But then look at what's happening with the people. Maybe it will just stay a headline in the news and people will not use it. So it's, it's most important to have people be happy with the technology, even if you, know, if you don't shoot a rocket to the moon, just, just start to fly at least. What did you learn from being here? And it's day one, it's morning one, but have you learned anything from the talks that you've listened to, but also the people you've met being here? I learned that there's, there's a lot of enthusiasm. That's, that's the, the good point. It's, it's, it's all people who are passionate about what they're doing. And it also shows sometimes that we, we still live in a, a closed box kind of world, because people here who don't really know much about technology and I know personally the big majority of people who work in technology don't have a clue actually <laughs> of what kind of problems and problematics are discussed here. So it, it shows that there's a lot of potential. That's, that's what I got from, from this, a lot of potential to communicate because here you have the people, right? And there you have the, the technology. So let's join them together. So you, you could have done your presentation on Zoom, but it's much more important for you to actually come here to meet people, to truly engage with them. Yeah, I mean, that, that's also part, I mean, it's everything can be studied because it's just information, okay? Zoom and all the virtual technologies are great, but there are studies. But actually you cannot substitute face-to-face -face because the, the information channel that you get is so powerful, so rich, okay? So you, yes, you, but it's, it's a perfect example. But new technologies are great. You could just stay always in your home, okay? And just travel the world by doing Zoom teleconferences and so on. But it's not the best way because there's also the social component that you have to take into, into account. And the face-to-face -face is the more informative channel, the most powerful channel that you have. So yes, you need to travel to have a powerful and meaningful and informative conversation. Probably it's better to do it in a sustainable way, but you still will have to travel. Good to hear.